Open the door. Get on the inn. Everybody talk about the warrior's rest. That didn't rhyme at all. Hey, audio! One lost you here. Back in action for more Dragon Quest post-game traction. As you can see, we're staying the night at the warrior's rest because why not? And all too familiarly. Such pain. Such despair. Eternal damnation just to go back to that day. Please, hear my plea. You must free this restless knight from his prison of despair. What do you think? Rather mysterious, eh? Feel free to spend another night if you want to have a dream again. Yes, indeed. Looks like when we reset all the time, that also reset too. And you know what that means, right? We gotta go free dear old Pa yet again. So let's go uppity and go over it. I totally utterly forgot where exactly I gotta go. What up, my dude? Can we talk? Oi, mate! Get a load of this! I just saw a blinding flash of light coming from the underground passage behind the poison swamp. There's something funny going on down there, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm sure there is. But we gotta go all the way to Dundrasel, and Dundrasel is all the way over there. It's a very far off way. And we haven't visited quite some time because, uh, yeah, there's only like one other thing there. My goodness gracious. But, you know what? It also kind of fits thematically speaking, right? All the way here, after all that mess that we had to go through, and we're finally, finally near the end of this whole situation. Whew. Yeah, post-game has been a lot, and we still haven't even done the post-game dungeon. The post-game dungeon is still out there, man. It's still out there. Oh, I'm still remembering the time that we actually found all those little mysterious things there about uh, the time traveling business, and I didn't know what it was at first, and then it came full circle in post-game. Just, oof. Just so many neat little things that happen along with this. I just, hmm. I was seeing an article, too, about uh, Dragon Quest XI recently, about how the post-game, they didn't like it as much because uh, Dragon Quest II, Dragon Quest XI's post-game was just really, really good. And, I like, Dragon Quest... 11's Act 2 is really, really good. I agree with it, but I don't feel like the Act 3 actually invalidates it so much as people saying at first, because, again, you were the luminary, you were the one that experienced all these hardships, and you're being rewarded by going back in time and having all, all these people's, like, past trials and whatnot mean nothing. Like, it's on you, the player, more than anything else. Like, you were experiencing having to go to travel through time alone. And from what I hear, too, there's a lot going on with the, the post-game stuff here, too. So I really want to see what the heck happens with the post-game credits. Because, legit, I'm sure it's something fancy. And oh boy, oh boo. Ooh. Just, I'm just really excited about all of this whole situation coming together. We are technically at a correct level to face the final boss, though, just so you all know. I, I'm more than well aware that I have that situation going on for myself. But uh, for now... Let's go ahead and go, go down here. And I'm not sure if I have that campfire. I probably should go check to see if I have that campfire. Because you do have to get your campfires back after the whole entire thing. But for now, it should be fine. I should be fine just doing this. Gathering what we can gather. And saving our dear old uh, uh, dental dudes. Because we need to. 
because he's trapped behind a gloomy, gloomy Gus. And I assume that the, the darkest one made him more powerful, and thus we have a big old thing going on. Now as to when we're actually supposed to get this done in post-game, because there is always a, a particular intent in game design about like, oh, you do it now, you do it here, you do it there. I don't know. I, I don't know what will happen, but uh, yeah. I mean, what else can we do around here? Let's grab this. Thank you. All right, what do we have going on here? That's the dungeons, and that's the altar of souls. Did we get everything down there? We probably did. Not gonna worry too much about it. We explored everything that we need to explore. Yo, what the heck? I won't tell you how long I've been traveling through these ruins looking for something valuable. But it was long enough to make me want to throw in the treasure hunting towel. Anyway, I was shifting some rubble out of the way and I found some stairs leading down to what looked like a dungeon. Trouble is, there's a really spooky voice coming from down there. Some poor fellow wailing about how much pain he's in. Pretty sure it must be the ghost of someone who was trapped when Thundercell was destroyed. Which means, I won't be going looking for her just down there in a hurry. Ooh. Is that so? Okay, so I guess we'll just go down this way. Into the deep, deep dungeon in the dark, dark docks. To see exactly what's going on around ya. Ah, this reminds me of when we were escaping the, the castle. You had to go face things. Was there nothing here? I could have sworn there was enemies around here and such. Oh, would you look at that? We haven't actually been here before in the timeline. So we get these things. That's good. Pretty, pretty good. Yo, wow. That was instantaneous that we found it. to my door, no less. The Dark One is a benevolent master indeed. His return has filled me with a power greater than ever before. And he will bring about such suffering that I will feast for an eternity. Not that I haven't been enjoying the meal at hand, of course. This one's misery has sated my hunger for many a delicious year. Ever since his kingdom fell. Surely not. Erwin! A great man. And a fine warrior, too. And... Most importantly of all, your father. <gasps> this one's misery is just... Mm, exquisite. His kingdom ruined, his family gone, betrayed, dying alone. Which is why I've been drawing out his torture for so long. But even the most fabulous feasts must come to an end. It is time to move on to the next course. How does your despair compare, I wonder? Hold still while I sample delights ah, 
them with this uh, gloom of war draws me. I do this business now. Oh dear. And it's got the nightmares thing going on for it. Our magic mending has decreased. Okay, so that's all. I could you not? Could, could you not not? Hmm, so what do we want to do? I'm really just kind of like, hmm, about this. Because it's saying the magic mending is gone, and it's just kind of like, I kind of believe that. Um, let's just do Hand of God, right? Hand of God, let's go. I look at that, 458. It's so good. Um, meanwhile, Endrick, let's just have you kabuff for the sake of kabuffing. And we'll have you. What can we have you do? Batters all enemies and things. Falcon Slash. Blade of Ultimate Power. When did we get this? I totally forgot. A blistering sword a blow worthy of a true master fencer. Um, shoot. Let's try it. I want to see what that is. Whoa! Yo! Yo! That's a good. Okay, so I got Kabuff. We can accelerate ourselves. Which might be a good thing to do right now, but... Uh, oh. I know. Light-based attacks, earth-based attacks, thunder, wind, ice, and fire. No darkness? No darkness, Charlie? Oh. Whatever, man. Fine. Multi-heal it is. Oh, look at that! She actually didn't get, like, get from the, the magic mending. I just realized that. <laughs> I mean, I, I knew that all along. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, the bright splitter might actually do, do good damage, too. How much are you doing? That's not that good. I'd rather do the other thing. Uh, hand of God it is. Oh, I am. Oof! Getting that, that, that hard 400. Still not quite. It, it's it's just showing up to be up, man. So I hope this, this helps. So the next thing I think we need to do is zap it. Oh my god. It's a lot of demolish. So our magic might has been decreased now. That's rude. Uh. Reduces damage taken from uh, attacks. Let's have forbearance. Because I don't want him to go after Rab or, or Serena, honestly. So let's have that go. Let's get the Blade of Ultimate Power going for this, too, because it does a hefty damage. Ooh, look at that. Just 600. No, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll be okay there. We keep doing Hand of God, but he's not yellow, so it doesn't really seem worth the point in comparison to doing like other things like multi-heal and such. Uh, we want to we wanna zap him. We do. Because that way Serena can just like do whatever they want and this one will go down in defenses. So let's do that and do this. Multi-heals. Because he really shouldn't be that hard. He should not be harder than the dragon. Like, already, I'm just kind of, like, manhandling him as is. Uh, already defending champion now. So I know he's gonna do crap. Forbearance don't work on that, but whatever. Uh, come on, End Endrick. What are you doing, buddy? Just get in front of that. Take the spell. Fine, whatever. Let's just do this. Yet again. What was 680? God dang! I went up! Yeah, look at that. He's already got that much. That's a good... That's a good right there. Like, we were definitely... This should have been done after the dragon. <laughs> uh, by all means. But that's a good then, because this guy's a douche, man. He's been feeding our papa for so long. Twice over in two different timelines. That's just rude. Alright, kind of bubble really hit him hard. Gonna... That. 90's all over. That's just rude. Okay. Let's do Blade again. Why not? Oh! God dang, that was a crit, dude! <laughs> Where are you going now? Oh, jeez. Mister, you're being very rude today. Just, just overall. I... Oh, Hendrick is asleep. It's fine, I guess. Uh, do we have any unsleepers? Uh, defuddle. That's confused. That's... Okay. So I guess we do not. That's, that's 
like understandable, I guess. All right, hand of God. Oh, we got him. Done in one. <laughs> that was faster than I thought it would be. Okay, look at all that experience we got. Ooh, nifty. And I forgot to actually increase our skill points after the fact. That's fine. Papa! Where am I? Wait. Those eyes. I'd know them anywhere. You saw me for like a day, didn't you? Son. Is it really you? My name's not Sun, but okay. It was you who saved me, wasn't it? It was actually Rab. He did he deal the final blow, but you know what? I'll take that credit. you captive. You are free to join me after all these years. I am, my love. I am. Dear son, my darling boy, many hardships await you, many trials lie ahead, but you must not stray from your path, you must not falter. Let the light of hope, the light inside you, be your guide. And remember, we will always watch over you. Farewell, my darling. I love you so much. Goodbye, my little one. Goodbye, Eren. I hope both of you find peace at last. So look at that, we actually have more things. The princess's pledge? Okay, cool. What else did we get here? Erwin's helmet. And what else? Erwin's armor. All right, cool. Let's get this fitted on me right now. It's probably gonna be the last night I think about it, but still. Oh no, it's actually more. Would you look at that? Ooh, armor upgrade. Ha <laughs> ha! looks so good in it so this is the the new armor that you get here and it's actually more powerful of course but what is the princess's thing can we can we look for it can we find it i, I don't would it be for lost then I, I don't know which one it is I want to see. I want to. I want to figure this out here. Is it in items? Nope. 
A symbol of love of the Dengiselle all royal for the son who has still who was stolen from her. Huh. I see, I see. So we just have that as a sort of thing. Okay, so the Princess Pledge is just a symbol of love. It's just to show you did that side quest. That's pretty neat, pretty interesting. I imagine it's actually going to come into play later on down the road. Kind of sad I didn't, like, go back in time just a little bit to, like, see something else or something. I get why that happened, and honestly, I'm just kind of thankful that we had it to begin with. Uh, in all honesty. For now, let's go back. Alright, we're back to this little region, and there is something here, right? Oh. Suppose you come, come here because of the rumors? No. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, thank goodness for that. Until recently, I have a guest who stayed here was having the same dream, you see? People were coming from all over just to see it. But then it stopped ha happening all of a sudden. You still stay here, of course, dream or no dream. It's still a lovely little inn. Yeah, I remember that being the very case. And boy howdy, was that such an interesting thing that happened, too. Just all these little like, callbacks to Act 2 and how things went down. Oh, And because he's reset time, you gotta experience it again. Just a little bit. A little bit differently and whatnot. Love how Veronica is always just, like, up there for the stupor to, like, just go attack anybody. Just, like, do that kind of stuff. I'll get rid of this guy pretty fast. He's, he's not gonna be hard to actually get. Get out. Ugh. Guy, why why are you being so horrendous about this? No. Go away! Ugh. I'm sure that you are. Fine then. Later power it is! I forgot that I actually need to go I need to go actually heal and stuff. Let's do a good social. Yeah. A hard dab. Thank goodness! Now that we settled all our little father issues, we can finally go off into the final part of this post game. And that's over here. All the little business. Grabby, grabby. Yes, we can. Right here. Right? I'm pretty sure it's the poisonous swamp area that we have to go all the way down. Is this it? I think so. Yo! Yo! What's gonna happen here, man? Alright. Post game dungeon, let's go! Whoa. Durston's Labyrinth Between the Worlds? Um. Hello? Looks like there's a little save area here. Ooh, thank you for that. Yeah, let's go in and save just in case bad things happen to bad people. Uh, or rather good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people. Like us! We don't want that. Okay. So what's through here exactly? Is it gonna be one of those layered dungeons and levels that we have to keep going down, down, and down for? Oh, this is new. Okay. Okay, this is weird. So this is the Path of Trials Isle. Okay. Apparently there could be a number of different things going on here, but I imagine they just kind of want us to have a... How to say... Familiar areas type situation. That we have to like waste money on different things. I was kind of hoping to see the surreal world of the sea or whatnot. What is this thing? Is this the, the evil version? A group of enemies I'm feared. Okay. Dragon slime and a few other things. You haven't noticed? Look at this! We have new team members now because we're on the final dungeon. 
And these are, I think, supposed to be like some of your best people to bring. Hendrix also a good one, I think. And yeah, that's it. Like th that's the whole like big amount of team. Um, but th these are the people that you usually want to like bring in for a lot of situation here. And then clearly we got like a whole bunch of like really good things here. Oh dang, use all the casters MP to avoid all enemies. Ugh, we can just do Kablooming. That should actually do quite enough. I guess we can just go them all. Oh my god! She killed everyone! Else Look some. at her go! <laughs> what else we got? Okay. So looks like we're doing pretty good in terms of uh, the first area of the trial. Looks like there's some sort of thing over here. Oh! Okay. This is so weird, man. There's so many different things here. Let's go in this clear cabin and see if there's gonna be here. Oh, no. Oh, can't break that. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just rest for the night. See how it goes. We are just kind of going into post-game dungeon territory. It's nice to know that we have little, little heal places and whatnot. Idea where or when to go or what to go, really. I honestly don't know what to make of this whole entire little area here. This is all the question marks. Are we just gonna go to like wherever else the heck it is? Yes, path to trial. Okay, weird, weird, weird. So we're not at the trial aisle yet, but we'll get there. Whoa. More dragons and dungeons and such. I think we'll be fine just going wherever. Further down the road here. Where you be? Oh! There's that little thing again. What the heck? Okay, so we already saw this. We already, know, we already went through this little, little boss area. And what's not? Uh, shoot. Huh? Was it just that dragon making sound? Because I'm getting a little scared here. I don't want to be facing that, that boss dragon again. I, I, I definitely don't. I mean, I guess they could spring it on us. Then there's that. What the heck? Whoa. That's that's a new dragon type. Let's oh. grab this. Ooh, a sunbeam. Okay. Can I go up this way? I guess not, question mark? Okay, so we just need a personal horn to actually break through that. Yeah, these are definitely new enemies around. Yo, look! There's a thing there! That's gotta be for something, right? That's gotta be a thingy thing. Let's go in it. Let's go in it. Let's see what's in it. Uh, uh, okay. So I guess the next floor? Oh? What is here? Okay. So I guess we should get this to like ride it. Hope for the best there. Hi. Yeah, this definitely looks new. Definitely looks like a new enemy. That's fine, just have to hit him good. 50, 50 damage to that thing? Oh. Shoot, we only did 50 damage to that. Not what I wanted. Is... Oh, we're at yellow for that one. Okay. Ah, oh, dang! You forget how beeperoni you actually are when it comes to these whole situations. Okay. Easy. That's good. That. Now I can go through this way. Well, bam! Looks like we went just all the way around. Yeah, we just kind of went around. Good, got all those. Are we just finding different things? What areas? Okay, so that's what that was. Oh, that it's running away from us, actually. That's good to hear, actually. Well, good to see, I suppose. It's the proper way to put it. There's a green thing there. Two things over this way. So this is supposed to be very much a labyrinth of sorts. So like go through all these little areas and whatnot and see where the heck we go go. I 
dragon. That is a dragon. That is a big dragon. Hmm. I guess we can head off that way? I generally do not know where to go. I really, really do not. Uh, okay, so it's good that everything's running away from us. That is a good bit. It's a nice bit. Now we're over here. The thing said? Uh. I'm so confused where I go. Okay. Maybe if we go into that library, something will happen? That's the only other thing I can really think of here. But. Oh, we need the thing again. We need to grab it. We need to go over there and, and get the thing now. I think we'll be fine getting it again, but just, uh, rude. Okay, come on. Where, where are you at? I know you're around here somewhere, you pepperoni. Ugh. There you are. I bam. Can't believe that oh, is that a metal slime? Are you freaking kidding me? There you go. We're getting that instantaneously. I ain't. Like, no way, buddy. I'm grabbing that as soon as I can. I like me some metal slimes. I'm gonna do a lightning thrust because it's actually also really good for critical hit. Bam! No, it missed. All the time that I actually choose to show it, it doesn't, it doesn't do it. I feel like such a tool. But if you haven't noticed by now, I don't really have a healer aside from uh, the other person. Aside from Lost, who can heal. And everybody else is just damage output. Like, legitimately enough. Another one bites kind of the fitting dust. that we have our little thing as, as is. We kind of look like a paladin, no so it kind of works out for us. And yeah, these I are all the highest levels. Better. Look at that. Freaking level 80. Oh, just as just, just good. Everyone's just getting everything. Okay, we'll apply them a little bit later. And now, we need to be looking around and, and getting a little proper space in between. Where'd that boy go? He's just trying his best. I want to face those dragons just yet. I feel like I'm draining too much of my MP and such before I go go. Uh, there we go. Barely. Barely. Okay. So if my hunch is right, it may very well let us just kind of go away through here. Oh. Oh dang! Look at those things. We don't really need to face those right now. Alright, dismount. And yet again, for the fifth time, I think we're going to this freaking library of sorts. I swear. This library haunts me to this very day. Very day! Always going to it. Of course, I gotta go grab this too. Ooh, a side swiper. Okay. We gotta also make sure to check out for any kind of like, how to say, chests and whatnot. Because if we don't, uh, we may not end up getting some of the things that we need to get for uh, certain side quests and whatnot. Because there was a lot of just like, maybe it's somewhere in the dungeon. And this is the only dungeon left, y'all. This is it. This is the whole thing. Alright, cool. We made it between that little world. And next time, we'll be seeing exactly where this whole rabbit hole takes us. Because, whew, it's a lot. So then, everybody, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Sayonara. Bye-bye.